some time to meet our panel who, let's face it, are posher than Posh Spice on a pony inside a Bentley. Here's Sam Thompson and Stanley Johnson, everybody. Professional, so professional. <laughs> welcome to the jungle, Stanley. Well, welcome back. You should. Say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a pleasure to Does be here. Does it feel like you've been gone for a year? Gone in the twinkling of an eye. <laughs> a sheep's eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've missed you, Stanley. I've missed you so much. So there's been some uh, controversial food rationing in camp, and we've done some digging and found an exclusive clip. Let's take a look at this. You think that's enough rice? How many did you put in? We put in eight. The last couple of days now, every, we've all just been too precious about the rations and we're just not eating enough in the day. We're flagging. Trust me on this. We, are just, we need to keep saving some stuff. Tomorrow. Oh, no, I do, absolutely. Great, so we've got some reserves. There's just an awful lot of squirrelling going on. Everyone's too scared to speak up about it. So I do, but in a jokey, passive-aggressive way. But it doesn't seem to be down to us what we eat. That was from a few days ago, Stanley. What do you what do you make of that? What do you make of the squirreling? Squirrels. Well, I didn't see that squirrels were on the menu. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I think that she was laying down the line. The line here, yeah, Rita was. Yeah. And I think she was raising a bit of a flag. She's obviously saying she doesn't want to be bossed around by by the camp leader, and she wants to state what she feels. Yeah, I, I feel like kind of the whole camp is secretly scared of Rita. I think yeah. everyone's kind of scared of her, but it's... Uh... I think she's just sort of seeing maybe what everyone else is thinking, Thank but you. no one just dare go... It's when she yeah. leans forward in the thing as well, the yeah. hair comes yeah. down yeah. and she's like, uh... yes, I, I, we might have a problem here, it's not a cost there. Uh, you, would you be happy with the food rationing, Sam? Uh, I, the thing we, I think John, he's like the, the chef, right? Yeah. I think that... He's just obviously doing what he thinks is not like he thinks he should do. And then when they all come piling in, and he, to be fair, and he was like, okay, fair, like, whatever you guys want. I think they all they took it quite seriously. We did do it, and I, I've spoke to other people that have been in the jungle, and they rationed theirs as well, but it seems like a big thing this year. We used to have more rice and beans on a morning, a little bit at lunch, because you don't need a lot of energy, and then loads on a night. So I think maybe John's just took it on himself. Well, Rather yeah. than asking everyone, did you what ration you do, it? Stanley? I don't think that we had you know, real arguments about it. It's a pretty, it's always, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty, pretty obvious you have to lay in a supply of food, and if you have to go easy uh, one day or two days, that's what you do. Yeah. I think probably they're, they're arguing about food because they haven't had some bigger things to argue about. We argued about strawberries, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Stanley, don't remind me. Don't remind me. <laughs> we had some big things to argue about. <laughs> if in doubt, they're obviously getting on extremely well. Yeah. If, you're, if you're all arguing about is rice and beans, you're, 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 you're doing all right. Now, uh, we also noticed that not everyone was clear on whose side they were on. Take a closer look at this uh, clip of James. <laughs> when the campmates were deciding if they wanted more rice. We need to put more rice on, four is not enough. Hands up who wants more rice. Please put your hand up if you want more rice. Please put your hand up if you want more than four rice between 11 of us. It's so good. <laughs> So, well, that's so good. Put your hand up if you want to answer this next question. Um, <laughs> to be, mate. It's so great. It's, it's the best thing he does. You know when you sometimes you you do the hello and they and they air you and he goes like that. He panicked halfway through. And I think it's because he saw that like Harry Redknapp and the lads weren't saying anything. He went, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> it was oh, like I a... think that's rather unkind. He probably had an itch. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, sub, a sudden itch. I it... don't know if you noticed yesterday, but when um, Rita was in the Bush Telegraph. She, and they said, who were you closest to? She actually said James. Mm. So I don't know if James is, like, her bestie. So maybe he's agreeing with Rita. He's like, oh, I've got to go with Rita. But then realising that no-one else was doing it, he was like... Ah. Do you know something? Wasn't there a kind of male-female split on that, on that vote? Yes. Weren't the women with Rita? Yeah, there was. So originally, he sort of... He went to put his hand up, and I think he saw that it was and only the, the women, the maybe, chaps. that... We're sort of disagreeing with him, and he sort of decides to go with the men. Do you think? Have a, just... have, have a point of view, though, man. Do you like? Yeah. You've got, just, ha, just 
know what you want and stick to it. Do you know I think, I think so this nice, is so though. nice. I think he just doesn't want to upset anyone. You can and he be thought, too actually, nice. this is going to be an, an argument, so I'm out. Yeah, but you like have an opinion, and, and that's not a bad thing because we all know he's not a bad guy. He seems like a lovely guy. So like. You know, if you want more food, stick it up. Maybe he wanted to have an opinion, then he was like, I need to actually sort my hair up. <laughs> um, so the immunity games begin tomorrow. It's all about competing for food and immunity from the first public vote-off. In tomorrow's show, the celebrities will be split into teams. John, Harry and Nick will be taking part in the Deadly Dash, where they will find out that they are now the team captains, Ooh, yeah. and they will pick two other celebrities to join their team. So exciting. It's very exciting, isn't it? They all get splitting up. Um, it is exciting. You know, when I was writing, Books. My publisher always says, avoid the dash, the deadly dash, but that's only a, that's only a, minor, <laughs> that's only a minor point. Do you yeah. think, Stanley, that John, Harry, and Nick will get on all right in the deadly dash? How do you feel I think them? John, Harry, and Nick will. I, I'm told the word to use is smash it. Smash yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Smash it. Smash it. Yes. They use that a lot over here with avocados as well. But, but they're yeah. actually, well, they're fighting against, against each, each other. Against each other, yeah. And they're all really strong men who've smashed all the trials. Like, who do you think's gonna...? I reckon if Nick loses, you might see him finally lose the plot a little bit. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think if he, if he starts getting, like, and he, there's a chance he won't get immunity and stuff, I think he might push them a little bit further. Because, you know, he's been trying so hard to be the nice guy and things like that. I just feel like this is a chance for maybe him to go, oh... He is a nice guy. Nick Knowles. We're talking about Nick Knowles. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, he's a nice guy. Yeah. He's a kind of school prefect sort of guy. Yeah. <laughs> who, would, who would you pick? Who would you pick, Stanley, for your two, for your team? Who would you pick? Yeah, I would pick... I would pick, actually, Zare and Fleur. OK. Oh. I think, why, why are those two? Because I think they are oh. very smooth runners. I, 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 actually, and I think as a reserve can, I have Jamie. I like them to go you know, fast and thin. Fast and fast thin. Fast and thin. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's good. I like that. They Sarah's have got a sort of, Spartan as well. They, they look like yeah. they've kind of got the physique. Well, frankly, if you're running, you may as well run fast. Yeah, yeah. you can tell Fleur's good at that. I story. wouldn't get Anne. I don't think <laughs> Anne would be my number one pick. Not for a deadly dash. Not. Well, thank you, Stanley. I like it. Cracking conversation, guys. Um,